real privilege to sit uh, beside you and have you, you play one of my instruments. Just the tone and everything you can pull out of it is just incredible to me. Any other bazookies that uh, I've come across, I've always thought, mm, yeah, quite nice, and, but not for me. So this is the first one in many years that I've found to be uh, at least the equal of a one that I play. And it's got some lovely aspects. I mean, the treble on this is, is quite gorgeous. You know, the, that intro that I play, I really mm. love playing that. As soon as I play that, I think, oh, yes, okay, bring on the song. I suppose... Uh... After listening to a lot of bazookies, uh, gazookies, uh, I found that uh, some of them for me lack treble slightly. And I think that the position where the bazooki is played, if you played along with the guitar, it doesn't need to be in the same uh, frequency level of uh, bass. And I think it, it's, it's maybe nicer to have a, an instrument that rings out on the higher end of the treble to make it sit well with the other accompaniment. Uh, so the, the design of that instrument is to help the trebles ring out longer. Uh, it's also lightly, slightly lighter strung than usual, which I think helps with dexterity. Uh, easier to play the strings, uh, to hold it down. And uh, there's a wider uh, uh, neck and nut on it than usual as well. And again, I think if you're a melody player, you'll appreciate the big bit of extra space than the fretboard. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Well, one of the things about about bazookis is that it has to suit your own uh, style and and uh, your desire of sound. I mean, when I say that uh, I've played many other bazookis that I thought were not for me. Uh, they might well have been good for somebody else. Uh, this, this just uh, for me is is uh, is um, the apex.